Hello everyone, how are you doing? How is life? I hope you are fine. You are welcome to our channel. Thank you so much for coming. If you are new on this channel, my name is Henrietta. And on this channel we pray. I teach you how to assess the blessings of the Lord. How to receive your miracle. How to get open doors. How to pray with scriptures, the words of the Lord, to assess your blessing. So, please subscribe and join us. And turn on the bell notification beside the subscribe button, so that you will always get notification. You come and watch and receive your blessing. On this channel, testimonies are coming. Every day, check under most comments. On my WhatsApp, different testimony. But please, before I continue, please, there is a channel disguising as me using my profile picture and my name. I don't collect money to pray for anybody. I don't have an orphanage home. Don't be scammed. I have told you, don't be scammed. I'm not the one. I don't take money to do any spiritual work. I don't take money to pray for people. I don't collect money. So even if you chat them up, they tell you to bring money for anything, donate to any orphanage, you block and report them. It is not me. It can never be me. So today, I'm going to show you these Psalms that you can read for your transformation and renewal, your restoration, your blessing. You are going to get this miracle that will be a shock to the world. This Psalm will shock you for fast result. There is power when you hold God to his words. God does not go back on his words. He does not. He doesn't. He has said that even if heaven and earth being destroyed, his words can never go back unfulfilled. So even if the heaven and the earth go away, the words of the Lord will never ever be destroyed. Hold in by the word. There is power when you pray with the words of the Lord. This is the quickest way to make it in life, to succeed in life, to bear fruit, to yield result. If you are always experiencing delay and stagnation, you are going to pray with this psalm to remove stagnancy and retrogression. If you never bear fruit, you work so hard and yet you are not getting anything tangible. You are going to pray with these Psalms and you will start progressing. Every little thing you put your hands upon will succeed. If you are the type, money does not stay in your hands. Whenever little money comes, sickness comes, difficult problems that will come and waste your money so that you cannot utilize your money for something good or save. They will come and steal your joy and steal your money. Just watch your life. If you are the type, you hardly receive favor. Whenever you are about to receive, maybe that's your small money. That is a time sickness will come or any bad thing will come so that you will waste your money on that thing so that you will not succeed. These are the antics of the devil. If you have a business and you are not growing, it is not as if you are lazy. I'm not talking to those who are lazy because in Proverbs, the reward for laziness is poverty. If you are the type you sit at home and fold your hands, always waiting for manna to fall. I'm not talking to you. You have to do something 
you need to become useful. The Lord has given you the brain, the power to make money and to succeed. You need money to live. You need money to live and pay your bills and to earn respect and to have a voice. When you are poor, people will tell you, who are you? But when you are rich, they will tell you, how are you? You need wealth and prosperity gradually. I'm not talking about you being extremely rich overnight. Gradually. But every day, there should be noticeable progress. There should be progress every day. At least today, you have added a little. Tomorrow, you are seeing growth, not retrogression, not stagnancy. If you are the type you experience delay, delay in getting married, you have been looking for a child or a life partner. You have been looking for a job with no results. You have been sick. See, as far as you want urgent answer, pray with the Psalms. Pray with the Psalms for three days. Please, if you are already doing a spiritual exercise, you can focus on that. Don't miss it up. Focus on that and be done with that, okay? So now, let me introduce you to this Psalm. Psalm 27. Write it down. If I see anybody asking which Psalm at the comment section, I will know that you did not watch the video because I see many of such questions. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I will fear no one. The Lord protects me from all dangers. I will never be afraid. When evil people attack me and try to kill me, they stumble and fall. Even if a whole army surrounds me, I will not be afraid. Even if the enemy attack me. The Lord is your light and your salvation. You are not supposed to be afraid of anything. You are not supposed to be afraid of poverty, to be afraid of that problem. You are not supposed to be afraid of that sickness. You are not supposed to be afraid of that problem, that trouble, that trouble. Even if a whole army gang up against you, they will stumble and fall in the name of Jesus. No matter how plenty your enemies are, God will defeat them. When Goliath came to David, Goliath was a giant, very big and mighty. And David was very small. Goliath thought that he would conquer David. But by the power of the Lord, with just a stone, a stone, David fell down and defeated Goliath. Goliath fell down and he was destroyed from the stone of David. That is how powerful the Lord is. No matter how strong your enemies are, no matter how big they are, no matter how numerous they are, I'm speaking to someone. I speak to you today. The Lord will defeat them. You have nothing to be afraid of. No matter where they come from, no matter what they have planned against you, no matter the gang up, no matter the agreement of the enemy in your life, no matter what they have done to stop your progress, no matter what they have done to stop you from succeeding, from growing, I speak to you, child of God, they will stumble and fall. They will stumble and fall. In the name of Jesus, they will stumble and fall. Because the Lord is your light. Because the Lord is your salvation. All your enemies put together. All the powers, all the forces fighting you, fighting your progress, fighting your family will fall down and die. I have asked 
the Lord for one thing. One thing only do I want, to live in the Lord's house all my life, to marvel at his presence and his goodness, and to ask for his guidance. In times of trouble, he will shelter me. He will keep me safe in his temple and make me secure on the high rock. God will keep you safe. He will make you secure on his high rock. Receive the presence of the Lord today. The presence of the Lord brings prosperity. The presence of the Lord brings healing to that sickness. The presence of the Lord brings victory and triumph over every problem and difficulty. No matter the problem you are facing, no matter how difficult your situation is, all you need is the presence of the Lord. And everything, every property of the devil will flee away from you. Sickness is a property of the devil. Disappointment, delay is a property of the devil. Sorrow is a property of the devil. Every negative thing that brings tears and weeping belongs to the devil. When the Lord comes into your life, when you live in the house of the Lord, every negative thing, every property of the devil will be removed in the name of Jesus. Whatever is in your life that is not of God, I separate you now in the name of Jesus. Whatever is in your life, in your family, every evil they have planted that is not of God, that is bringing you pain, I separate you. I separate your family members in the name of Jesus. Remain separated in the name of Jesus. I take you, my brother. I take you, my sister, into the house of the Lord where you shall see light and good things in your life. Let's continue. So, I will triumph over my enemies around me with shouts of joy. I will offer sacrifices in his temple. I will sing. I will praise the Lord. Hear me, Lord, when I call to you. Be merciful and answer me. When you said, come and worship me, I answered, I will come, Lord. Don't hide yourself from me. Don't be angry with me. Don't turn your servant away. You have been my help. Don't leave me. Don't abandon me. Oh God, my Savior, my father and mother may abandon me, but the Lord will take care of me. Teach me, Lord, what you want me to do and lead me along a safe path. Because I have many enemies, don't abandon me to my enemies who attack me with lies and threats. I pray for you, child of God. You will triumph and be victorious in the name of Jesus. Plead with the Lord to hear your cry, to forgive your sins. Lord, do not be angry with me. Lord, do not push me away. Forgive my sins. Don't abandon me for my enemies to take over me. Don't let the evil ones rejoice. Don't let them say, oh, we have gotten her. Oh, we have gotten him. They will never rejoice in your life. In the name of Jesus, every evil thing rejoicing in your life today, you will rejoice over them. In the name of Jesus, every evil thing, every evil sickness, every evil power rejoicing in your life today, you will rejoice over them from today in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bring you victory. You will triumph and your enemies will be put to shame. Then verse 13, I know that I will live to see the Lord's goodness in this present life. Trust in the Lord. Have faith. Do not despair. Trust in the Lord. I know that I will live to see the goodness of the Lord in this lifetime. I pray for you today. 
you will live to see the goodness of the Lord in your lifetime. God will show you his goodness. God will suppress your enemy. God will overpower your enemies. God will show you his goodness. In the name of Jesus, have faith in the Lord. Do not doubt. Do not be in pain because whenever you are in pain, the devil is rejoicing. The devil is happy. The devil is dancing. The devil is jubilating. That is the job of the devil, to rejoice. But I tell you, child of God, from now, you will rejoice over your enemy. You will rejoice over your enemy. Rejoice versus rejoice. One must suppress the other. One rejoicing must overpower the other. Your rejoicing will overpower the rejoicing of your enemy. I speak to you, child of God. You will rejoice. And your rejoicing will bring tears to your enemies. They will flee away from you in the name of Jesus. So read this Psalm 27 very well and pray with it. Just say this prayer. Lord God, I come to you. I believe in you. I have faith in you. Have mercy upon me. Do not hide your face from me. Do not allow the enemy continue rejoicing over my downfall. Lord God, I believe in you. I ask you for one thing. To live in your house. I need your presence. Come into my life and bring light. Let darkness, everything that belongs to to darkness and the devil be removed. Come into my life with your light and your blessing and my life will never remain the same again. I am not scared of my enemies, no matter how powerful they are, no matter the numbers. I know you, my God, will subdue them. As big as Goliath is, he was subdued by little David. As numerous as the Egyptians, the Egyptians were so numerous, they were destroyed, and the Israelites were saved. As numerous as your enemy are, they will be destroyed and put to shame. Lord God, I believe you will destroy my enemies and put them to shame. I will receive victory. I will triumph. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Hear my cry. I seek for your help. I receive your help. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That is all you need. You can say any other prayer or read this psalm and read it. Don't just read it like a storybook. The words of God brings light. It is not a piece of literature or a poetic writing. This is the words that commands life and death. The words of the Lord commands life and death. So understand the power of what you are reading and pray immediately you are done. Do this at midnight. There is power. There is quick answer. At midnight prayer. When you pray at midnight, the heavens are opened. And the enemies are subdued. Read this psalm for several midnights and say these prayers. And all your enemies will bow down to your feet. First of all, to apologize. Secondly, to confess. They will be powerless over you. This is a powerful psalm. Psalm 27. Read it. And put your mind. Believe. And the Lord will never disappoint you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. And turn on the bell for more videos. Give this video a thumbs up. Like. Share this with your friend. 